livable, my lovely, wonderful people. Now, more Elisha were real. He don't reveal something about uh, President uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. He say not be smart in Tinubu they do so. He say because waiting Tinubu they do so, nobody be quiet. So he say not they right to. So. He, he identifies some things when he feels say Tinubu they do right now. And he say if Nigerians, not, if Tinubu not they careful, if he not correct his steps, it's only go use your hand. He say, hmm, what did they do? So say Nigerians now go push him out, make it a watch. Say go be like film trick. He say, when they talk and so, he say, they be like, say, hmm. They talk, be like, say, be like, say, nah, you know, not be serious matter. They talk, say, but he know exactly what he need to talk about. He say, because Nigerians need to understand. He nobody himself needs to understand, say, say, where say, things no fit continue just the way they are. So, now, so, call they look the old thing. So, it's a do. He say, go tell us, may we wait and see. So, now, the matter now, we the wait to see what it go happen next. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. President Tinobu will move from mistake to mistake until Nigerians put hands together to push him out. Look at what he's doing. Showere reveal. Human rights activist and presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, Omoyeli Showere, has warned President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to tread with caution and not to provoke Nigerians with his anti-people policies. Showere said the hardship and suffering Nigerians are going through is as a result of the sudden fell subsidy remover might force the people into civil unrest. Tinubu think he's holding the people captives with whatever he's using. It's only a matter of time. When you have pushed them so hard and they have hit the wall, they will bounce back. And they will come back at you and you'll be surprised what will follow. The activists disclose this while addressing members of the AAC action during a, during a Sala get-together in Abuja. He said the situation in the country was such that Tinubu moved would move from mistake to mistake until people would just hands uh, hands together and rise for the revolution. The revolution we'll be talking about will happen suddenly because Tinubu is not ready for truth. It will happen suddenly. He said Nigerians did not deserve to suffer in the midst of plenty, adding that they had added that their jobs was was literally nothing from such shackles of corruption thinking the man of corruption can do anything about corruption itself no never this tinubu's government will make it easy to let revolution happen in nigeria and you will not be surprised you will see it in no distance time the suffering is too much it is like blessing a disgraced revolutionary this man will know him for all sorts of things not proven, but alleged. He will be moving from he will be moving from mistake to mistake, from mistake to mistake until he will gradually push the people overboard and they will bounce back at him. They said people are stupid. They think people are stupid, right? They are just we are just watching. One day you will be pushed to the wall and they will push back because the suffering in this country right now is beyond words. Shuware, who described palliative as unnecessary, said that the only palliative the government could give to Nigerians was the opportunity to grow the economy. He added that each time the subsidy was removed, the country economy enters into recession, owing to the fact that 80% of Nigerians' economy system was being undertaken by informal sectors. The reason many people are going through this is because Tinobu never made proper consultation. It is right for the subsidy to be removed at some point, but should have been done properly and should have been done with the people in mind. You do not work with people without their knowledge. This is what Tinobu is doing and what he has done and why he cannot succeed. So, my people, that's a more Elisha Ware expressing his view, his mind, and his heart. And um, he's, he's very, very, you know, he's saying he's not happy with Tinubu, uh, that Tinubu will continue to make these mistakes until he will push himself, you know, into the mistake that there will be no remedy. Uh, he will push himself over the board, that people should just be patient, wait, and see that it will happen in no distance time. You know, people, he said, because of the suffering, he said, people will do anything because, you know, the suffering is just too much. Then Tinubu cost this for the people. 
Tinubu, you know, he caused this. He, he, he kept quiet. He did nothing in the face of all that is going on. He absolutely, you know, just, you know, pre pretending, you know, like, you know, everything is just, you know, like, like everything is just there. You don't do that. You don't do that to people. You don't just wake up one morning and think it is all right, okay, for you to do whatever you're doing. There is need for every single person to begin to, you know, to begin to act and ensure that at the end of the day, we're doing all that is needed and necessary to change the course of what is going on today. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu is the president, but if you know what the figures show now. You know how much we are suffering. You know how much a bag of rice is. Not talk about a paint of a, a flour and all that. So a lot of things are going on, going wrong. And it is a shame that people are just quiet and really doing nothing about all that is happening. So if we want Nigeria to become a better place, we want this country to change. Every single person will have to act and work accordingly in order for things to become better. And that at the end of the day, we could truly, sincerely, you know, get a nation. That we all are praying for. Tinubu and his guys do not really care what's happening to Nigerians, do they? If they do, we will know. Okay? If they do, we will know. Okay? Uh -huh. So it is it is honestly a sincere uh, plea for every single person to rise up. Okay? Uh -huh. So this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on. You know, this is what is going on. And we just want every single person to ensure that, you know, we, we do what is needed, what is necessary, and we change the course of what is happening today. Nigerians are tired of the same thing over and over again that has not moved us forward. The issue is that, you know, a lot of persons, a lot of people who really do need, you know, all the help that they can get are not really getting it. They are not really getting it. And it is high time we begin to ensure that we rise up to the occasion. Yes, Nigerians need help <clears throat> to come out of this. But what are we doing? Are we just going to sit back there and allow people who we know have no iota of concern or truth to be the determinant of what happens to us? The days upon us are so critical. We cannot afford to play games with it, can we? I believe the answer is no. We can't afford to play games with it. If things must change, every single person must align. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.